so guys uh, welcome back so today I want to share with you uh, the diet I use to to cure my prostatitis now um, these are uh, simple food that we can always uh, find they're locally available so in November um, I was diagnosed with the prostatitis and so my doctor uh, put me on um, antibiotics for like two weeks but then after two weeks there was no much change so I'm going to share with you four uh, four food, uh, fruits and food that I used and of course um, the recipe that I used to make them and how I apply them for one week and I saw big change now um, my name is Vincent Silva and if you are new to this channel kind of subscribe and uh, guys um, in addition to this diet, you also need to drink a lot of water. Now, the first thing the first thing you should do is to take a lot of water. If you don't like drinking water, then you need to improve on what I take. Like, I used to drink a lot of water, like I don't know, uh, twenty glasses in one day or more, because the more you drink water, the more you urinate, and when you urinate. It um, it helps to it can flush the bacteria out from the prostate. Uh, the food uh, in my top list is tomatoes. So uh, tomatoes have um, antioxidant lycopene, uh, which gives it the red color. Now lycopene lycopene works miracle for this condition. Now studies uh, shows that uh, lycopene uh, is effective. In reducing uh, prostate growth and inflammation. Now, uh, lycopene, uh, lycopene uh, slows BPH and prostate cancer growth, as well as reduces PS PSA levels, uh, thereby inhibiting uh, prostate inflammation. Now, number two uh, is avocados. Now. Um, Avocados is a size of healthy fats, so they are unsaturated fatty acids and they contain beta acetosterols, which helps to ease urinary uh, flow problems. So um, they they help to ease the urinary flow uh, problems. Now, if you are showing symptoms uh, like difficulties in uh, urine. Uh, Inflammation and also maybe painful ejaculation, then avocados will help with this. Now, another fruit uh, which works uh, the same as uh, uh, tomatoes is uh, watermelons, uh, watermelons and berries. So they both contain lycopenes, so they both inhibit via prostate inflammation. But uh, tomatoes uh, is the is the most preferred source of lycopene for this condition. So, and you also have uh, these vegetables, um, spinach. Now, uh, spinach um, is also uh, essential for the prostate patients because uh, they contain, uh, so polyphenols uh, has been shown uh, to inhibit prostate growth by at least, by, by 50%. Now, here's the recipe how I use them. So, um, actually, I change my diet. So, in the morning, in the morning, uh, I, 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 I make the salads of this. So, I cut tomatoes, um, mix with avocados, and then eat that way. I, I, I will add a little honey, like um, two teaspoons, and then I use that for the breakfast. And I forgot lunch because uh, uh, the the DDS is trying to reduce uh, sugar levels like starch intake in the body. So then in the night uh, I'll go for spinach, uh, spinach. And in one week, in um, just in one week, I saw uh, a big change. So uh, I can tell you guys, um, these things worked out for me. And of course, I had to see my doctor first and do the antibiotics first before I get to this. And in addition to this diet, I also use some exercise uh, like yoga. 
there is specific yoga that uh, I used in addition uh, with these ones and it will help out. So in our next video we are going to show you the types of yoga that you can that you can try at home. You don't need any equipment, you just practice the home and uh, you will see a big change. So we wish you quick recovery if you are traveling from this condition and uh, just be disciplined and change your diet. Of course you have to leave a lot of food, there are food stuff that you have to leave uh, and also some lifestyles. So thank you for watching and um, don't forget to share this video and give